Okay, hi, back again. <clears throat> and this time uh, we're doing the secondary cardinal vowels. So we've done the primary cardinal vowels and now let's do the secondary ones. And there's, um, there's another, uh, actually 10 of those. So uh, we'll just work through them one by one. Um, perhaps I should do those in a, I'll do them in, uh, yeah, I'll do them in the same colour. I think it's a good colour. All right, so with the secondary cardinal vowels, they're not as common in the world's languages and they're also harder to perceive. And at the end of this class, I'll just say a couple of little things about why they might be hard to perceive. Um, so basically, the cardinal vowels are the opposite, uh, the secondary cardinals are the opposite value of the primary cardinal. So what do I mean by that? I mean if it's a front unrounded vowel, it'll be a front rounded vowel. If, if the primary is front unrounded, the secondary will be front rounded. And if the primary is back rounded, the secondary will be back unrounded. Okay, so that's what we need to um, work with here. Um, I yeah, let's just launch into it. So if we said that e e e was high in front, e e e, it's unrounded. We need to add lip rounding on that. E keep the e e. And that symbol is written U, and that's secondary cardinal vowel nine. Okay, um, so that's number nine. Um, e, e, e. And um, you know, it it's, it's occurs in quite a few languages. This isn't a, an unusual vowel. Um, it's quite frequent, but it's the cardinal vowel value, that very perfect reference point, e, 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 um, that uh, we need to be aiming for. Okay, again, we're almost heading to fricative territory with a bit of that rounding. I've got a bit of frication happening there, so we don't want to quite tip over into that. Okay, but we're heading towards it, nice and front. Okay, um, <clears throat> now let's just do, uh, this is actually cardinal vowel 16, the back unrounded vowel. Um, also not entirely unheard of in the world's languages, but not quite exactly as a cardinal vowel um, representation. Now it is written like this, okay? It's kind of a cursive letter W, but um, it's got the stem on the right side there, okay? Um, so we start with <coughs> the rounded version, ooh, 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 and we unround it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, to me, this sounds quite a bit like the letter L in a word, in an English word like milk. Okay, so if phonemically it's this, if that's the phoneme, the actual phonetics might be something like, um, milk, milk. Um, now, I don't want to, if you don't quite get this, I don't get bogged down in the example, but um, what happens is L, English L, is what's called a dark L, and instead of being a, a just a purely tongue tip articulation, it all, it's also a velarized articulation. We've got the tongue tip and we've got a velar gesture. And what happens for many speakers, including me, um, in syllable coda position, is that tongue, we lose the tongue tip and we're left with that velar gesture. So remember, back vowels are in the velar region. Okay, so we're left with this sort of milk, milk, milk. I don't know if you can hear that. Okay, if you didn't quite get that example, don't worry. Um, it's just a, a way that I use um, for um, remembering um, what that vowel sounds like. Bull, 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 bull. Okay, um, yeah. Okay, now. Let's do another cardinal vowel here. Um, 
let's do, <coughs> excuse me, um, cardinal vowel 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I remember, forget the numbers sometimes, sorry about that. And this is also written like the letter A, but it's a back to front letter A, cursive letter A, written like that. Um, now, it's on the right hand side of this dividing line, that means it's rounded. So it's the rounded equivalent of this vowel. Okay. <coughs> Let's see if I can get it. All right, so. Oh, 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 and rounding. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know if I was quite making a big enough difference. In reality, when your jaw's that low, whether you round your lips or not is not gonna be making a big difference to the acoustic output. Okay, no language in the world will contrast these two vowel sounds. Okay, they're really just in the International Phonetic Alphabet chart for the sake of um, consistency, okay, to make sure that there's a pair for every vowel. All right, um, so don't get bogged down in what is the difference between oh, 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 and Oh, 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 we're really, you know, it's going to be tricky, a tricky one, okay? So, um, yeah, be kind to yourself with those. Okay, um, all right, now let's keep going back to here. That was cardinal vowel 9, now 10. Oh, did I call that 13? Oh, did I get that wrong again? This is actually cardinal vowel 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, cardinal vowel 13. Yeah, this is 13. Right, okay. This is cardinal vowel 9. Now cardinal vowel 10, which is the high mid rounded vowel. So we're starting with E, and I haven't really made myself, I've drawn all the lines here and not given myself much space, but let's um, do the rounded version. Now it's a letter O with a diagonal through it. So and push that tongue forward. Again, on its own, not that unusual a vowel in the world's languages. It does turn up, okay? But remember. Remember to push your tongue forward and keep your jaw high. Sometimes even I get a bit slack about that, all right? Okay. And put a vowel in, put a consonant in front. Okay. Um, now, low mid, cardinal vowel 11. We write it like this. Now, again, this. This, you know, French will, the standard language will distinguish between er uh and er. Uh, er, uh, er. Uh, uh. So we're starting with er, 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 So keep that low, jaw, jaw is lowering. Try and keep the tongue forward, okay? All right, so that's um, the low mid rounded vowel. Okay. Um, now, the low vowel, uh, I was just listening back to some of my pronunciations of this vowel in the previous video, and I don't hit it every time. I'm sorry about that. Um, let's see if I can do it a little bit better this time. Ah, 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 ah. I think that was a little bit better. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, so this is um, the low, the low front rounded vowel. Okay, so e e e p p p um, high front rounded, p p p high mid front rounded, p p p low mid. Front rounded and ba ba ba. I hope that was okay for the low front rounded. Okay, and then back here we were doing oh 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 for the back 
low back rounded, low back rounded. Okay, now, and here we were with um, bull, 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 oh, okay, bull, 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 okay, I think it's all right. Um, for the high back unrounded. Now let's try and do the next one. The high mid back unrounded. So starting with or, 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 Now I've lost it. I've lost it. Or, or, ball, ball, ball. There we go. Ball, ball, ball. Ball, ball, ball. I think of this, it's written as a small gamma and it actually sits on the line, okay, um, as opposed to the voiced um, velar fricative, which actually goes below the line, which I haven't got lines here, so I can't quite draw that. But um, I think of this vowel as really, it really reminds me of a lot of Asian languages, this vowel. Um, not well known Asian languages, unfortunately, um, but say many Tibeto Burman languages. Bull, 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 okay, bull, bull, bull. Boo, boo, boo. Okay, so um, they are slightly different, um, and I really do recommend putting consonants in front of them um, so that it actually starts sounding like speech. Um, so, okay. Um, now, so that was cardinal vowel 15, okay, um, and then this will be cardinal vowel 14 here, that it will be the low mid back unrounded, and that's written as an upside down V, okay. Um, so we start with O, 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 Ba, da, ga. Ba, da, ga. This vowel is very common in British English. Okay. Um, it's in words like gop, gop. Oh, no, 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 I'm not getting it right. <laughs> it's really hard to hit these on the head every time. Oh, oh, ba, oh, but, but. There we go. I think I got it that time. Um, I hope I didn't offend any native British English speakers. Um, so that's the low mid back unrounded vowel. Just start with O. If it's not in your native vocabulary, just start with O. O. Ba. Ba. Da. Ga. And just contrast it from that very low vowel. Ba. Da. Ga. Ba. Da. Ga. Now I'm trying to do this. Ba. Da. Ga. Ba. Da. Ga. Ba. Da. Ga. I hope I did that okay. Um, so that was the first eight secondary cardinal vowels. So cardinal vowels 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, there's a couple more um, that we do um, and they're actually, and I've been ignoring this till now, central vowels. Okay, and it's the high central vowels. Um, that sometimes get included as cardinal vowel 17 and 18. So central is, um, we've got E and we write it as, a, no, I just said that one, E. It's actually E, E, E. Now, I think of this as being in Russian, but I tend to do a little bit diphthong eyes with a schwa-like onglide. I go, E, 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 E. So it's not E, E, E. It's not Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's e, e, e. So nice and central, unrounded. The tongue's high, but it's somewhere in the middle of the palatal and alveolar region. Okay. E, e, e. Okay. 
So that's um, cardinal valve 17, the high central unrounded, high central unrounded. And then we also have a rounded version, which I have in Australian English as ooh, ooh, hoo. I do diphthongize it a little bit. I have a schwa-like on glide, on glide, ooh, ooh. So I try and get rid of that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So it's not ooh, ooh, ooh. It's not ooh, 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 ooh. It's ooh, ooh, ooh. I can't quite get rid of my little schwa at the beginning. I'm sorry. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think it's not too bad. I think I've, I've done all right. Okay, so that is um, the secondary cardinal vowels. Um, fun to practice, um, and they are a real challenge.